Hi, I'm Nigel Gardner and welcome to my channel. This week I'm talking about unusual groupings of notes. So where you're used to quavers, semi-quavers, such as chaka 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 cha or cha 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 cha. Maybe we'll start by looking at triplets. So cha 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 cha, chun two three one two three one two three one. Um, there's also sextuplets and quintuplets, and quintuplets are the really tricky ones. We'll start though with semiquavers going into triplets. Check this out. So as you might have already guessed, the theory behind this is that we have three notes evenly spaced across one crotchet. One, two, one and two and one and a two and a. It's quite fun to move between semiquavers and triplets. So if you're taking, say, a, an A major scale, something like this. Kind of gives it that impression of speeding up and then slowing down. Um, but really it's it's quite simple. It's It's two different speeds. Okay, next up is the sextuplet. We're going from semiquavers descending into sextuplets ascending in this next lick. Check it out. So we're just putting six notes where there were four. There's a few useful um, animal names that I use when I'm teaching with these things. So with semiquavers, I might use crocodile, 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 and then Triplets, you might have butterfly or strawberry. So crocodile, crocodile, strawberry, strawberry. Quite useful, I think, just to sing these things through, even though they are a bit silly, like I say. Um, for sextuplets, um, we've got Tyrannosaurus rex, which is literally the only one I can think of, but it works. Crocodile, crocodile, Tyrannosaurus rex, Tyrannosaurus rex, crocodile. Um, to be honest, when I'm singing these through, I just say digga digga digga, which doesn't mean anything, but it works. Crocodile, crocodile, digga 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 digga, crocodile, crocodile. Anyway, what am I doing with my life? Okay, this next example features the quintuplets. We're going to start off using semiquavers ascending through the A major scale, and then when we descend, we're going to use quintuplets and semiquavers. I think it just gives it a nice feel. By the way guys, all of this tab is available on my Patreon page, the link's in the description. I'd appreciate it if you could check it out, I'd love to know what you think. I'm trying to build a bit of an online guitar community over there. It's early days, but we have made a start. Okay, using this last lick, I'm hoping to demonstrate why Eric Johnson employs the quintuplet when he's using pentatonics, specifically descending pentatonics. There's something about the simplicity of the pentatonic with the complexity of the quintuplet, which just brings something very cool to the table. So anyway, without me talking any more nonsense, let's check out this last lick. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought in the comments. Like and subscribe and I'll see you again for another video. Until then, stay classy.